How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Riles back with another video. Um, everyone is getting their Haslab Giant Man now, and I missed out on that. So I was like, I still need like Hank Pym and Janet because I have a tiny little wasp, and I have the older Retro Buck. Uh, what is it? The Pizza Spidey Buck Retro Carded Ant Man it was the old Ant Man that I had, and a tiny little wasp that came with him, and that's cool. I do like the little wasp, but I was like, uh, we're doing pinless. I'm trying to get newer stuff, so I bit the bullet and I got the Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne or Giant Man and the Wasp two pack. So yeah, with all that being said, let's take a closer look at the box and we'll get this bad boy and girl open. He <laughs> he's really bad because he was <laughs> Janet. <laughs> If you know, you know. Taking a look at the front, it says Marvel Legends series, and then we get Marvel's Avengers, Beyond Earth's Mightiest, Hank Pym, Giant Man, and Janet Van Dyne, Wasp. And yeah, the other head sculpt is already out, but that's because I got it right here, so. On this side, we get some classic artwork of Hank and Janet, and there's even some like panel artwork behind them, so really nice artwork on the side of the box. On the back, we get a shot of the classic Avengers and a blurb, so let's check that out. Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne use Pym particles to manipulate size and defend Earth as members of the first Avengers team, which is over here with Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man. Same artwork on this side, top of the box, bottom of the box, and with all that being said, one of these days, Janet, one of these days. God, Hank is such a jerk. <laughs> As you can see, we have Hank and Janet, Giant Man and the Wasp out of the box. Um, he's not really giant right now, it's a six inch scale one because I did not back the HasLab, but that's okay. Uh, Janet's really cool, she's got her classic look with that really strange but still looks good headpiece that has like the hornet's tip at the top. It is kind of goofy, but like I said, it works. So that's cool, and then Hank is in his Giant Man costume with the antenna and the stripes on the side and all that stuff. We got the classic blue and red and they both come with alternate head sculpts which are really cool but here they are masked of course and um, gosh I really wish I, wish I had gotten that giant man but there's a lot of quality control issues anyway but Wasp is really good. I think she's probably on the Shriek body with um, a different torso or that's just the torso overlay because I cannot articulate the torso at all because of that um, costume that she's wearing but that's okay because she got those big old wings on the back to make up for it. But yeah, uh, classic suits for both of them. Really just like the perfect smaller version of the Giant Man. And that's why they released this two pack. They were like, we're doing the HasLab. Let's release these figures so people can get them for their display before that comes out. And yeah, so we have them here and they're pretty cool. And I had an older Ant-Man that was pretty bad. Uh, where is he? He's right here. We'll show him in the comparison too. But, you know, he's on that pizza spidey buck and it's like one of the only pizza spidey bucks left on my shelf and then of course the wasp that I had is this really tiny one that came with where is where is she uh where'd she go that came with that uh, ant man she's right here and that's the wasp that I had in my display because I didn't have a Janet so there she is right there. Checking out their height, let's get the trusty tape measure that I suck at using out. Let's see. Hank stands at just about, just a little over six inches. And Janet, don't fall over Janet. She stands at also just over six inches because of that pointy head that she's got. And then I knock Hank over. For articulation, because I just knocked him over and he's in my hands, we'll start with Hank and He's on that updated Sunfire body, so there's really nothing new here, but we'll still go over it. So head goes back, forward, and to the side. Um, yeah, because that's still the old ball socket. Shoulder 90 degrees. Butterfly joint is tight, but it works really well. Bicep cut, double elbows, which are pinless. Like I said, it's on that updated Sunfire. Spider-Man's over there somewhere. I'll probably grab him after this. Well, his elbow doesn't want to work. I did what I don't normally do, and I forced it, but it does work. It was stuck there for whatever reason. We only get an ab crunch, but it goes back and forward. We get a waist cut. Shoulders come, or legs come forward to the side and back. We do get butt kicking action right there, and a thigh cut, and a boot cut, and rockers and toe joints and all that stuff. So yeah, you can pose him up. He's got all the classic Marvel Legends uh, articulation. So let's move on to the wasp over here, uh, starting at her head. Be careful of those antenna because they are not the hardest plastic. Back, forward, 
to the side, shoulders come up over 90 degrees. We get a nice bicep cut, nice double elbows, really only just a waist cut there because I think that's just a new torso altogether. It has to be. So yeah, new uh, torso on the shriek body, I believe. Legs come forward to the side and back. She can kick her own butt very easily. We get a thigh cut, no boot cut. We do get rockers. And then of course we get these wings, which are on a ball peg and they fold out to have two separate sets. So you can also get the wasp. However, you would want her to be posed up flying around. It would have been cool if they gave us a smaller version of this wasp too, but you can't win them all, right? They do come with a bunch of accessories. Let me get another wing. So she's really cool. Definitely the star of this two pack. For accessories, first of all, sorry, let me get that fixed. Uh, they come with an alternate head sculpt for both of them. And I have Janet's on here because there's a storyline where Ultron takes over Tony's body and essentially turns him into a female Ultron with like Janet's face, which is kind of crazy. I'm reading that run. It's like the Mighty Avengers, I believe, on like the first or second issue. So that's where Janet's head is. And then Hank has an alternate head as well, which I believe is the same one from that West Coast um, Avengers five pack. I don't have that, so I don't know, but yeah. Blonde hair, Hank's a jerk. We know that he's got a jerky look on his face. He also comes with a cloth lab coat, which as you can guess, it just slips over his shoulders, which is nice. Um, it would've been cool if it was a little bit longer at the waist, but that's okay. We get two beakers of some blue stuff, probably some pin particles, and one is kind of triangular, and one is more spherical. Then we get Whew, running out of breath going over all these accessories. We get a small Quinjet or, yeah, I think that's a Quinjet. Um, it's like been shrunk probably so you can work on it easier. It's got the Avengers logo on there and some paint on the window. And then we get like this board for like doing stuff, science-y stuff. And then lastly, we get extra hands for both of them. We get a set of fists for Janet right here. And then um, a trigger finger and an open hand for holding a beaker, which she also has another one of, and a fist for Hank. So yeah, lots of accessories, but that's all of them. <laughs> Before I go any further, yeah, it is definitely the Sunfire body once again, which with those small shoulders, but it's fine to use for other characters, just not Spider-Man. Don't do Spidey dirty like that. Like, yeah, he can pose up, but he doesn't have like that upper ball peg and he's, that's just, it's bad shoulders and no bad Hasbro. First up for comparison, here they are with Janet, Tony, Ultron, and that retro carded Ant-Man. Here they are with Spider-Man and Wolverine, Moon Knight and Iron Man. Here they are with a couple of zombies because the giant man is a zombie giant man faceplate, which is pretty cool. And uh, I will do one more. Here they are with Storm and my custom Marvel Legends Dean Winchester, and I will do a video on that once I finish my Sam. I'm not done painting him, so yeah. Figure that covers comparison. Don't really need to throw in other stuff because these are really just Marvel Legends. I mean, you can put in SH figure words and all that stuff, but it's easier for me to just do Marvel Legends with Marvel Legends right now. <laughs> so with all that being said, y'all, I will say that this Giant Man and the Wasp 2-pack is totally worth it because it's totally worth it to me. Like I said, I didn't get the Giant Man. I really wish I had, but I didn't get him. So I do have a tiny little Giant Man, and that's the main reason to get this is as a booster for that accessory pack because she's really small in comparison, as is everyone else. He's like, you can't even stretch. And he's pretty big. Um, but yeah, cool two pack, lots of cool accessories. If you guys like this video, smash like down below, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check out my Patreon where videos are, early videos are a dollar a month. You get all the early videos before anyone else gets to see them. Uh, check out my two giveaways. We're doing one at 3.5 and one at five. Comment, let me know if you have this two pack. If you got Giant Man, how your day is going, what's up, just let me know. As always, I love you. I'll see you next time and bye-bye.